Hello, everyone. Welcome to a very special Taiko concert. We're very excited to play for you, as we always are, but this is an extra special concert because the backstory is this fall, St. Olaf Taiko was lucky enough to connect with Harrison <laughs> Taiko, a local Taiko group that plays in the in the <laughs> Minneapolis St. St. Paul area. Um, we kept hanging out with them and kept, uh, you know, staying in contact with them. And we put this whole event together where we're going to play a couple of our songs, they're going to play a couple of their songs, and it's going to be a grand old time. So it's kind of a celebration of the St. Olaf Tycho alumni because it turns out several of them are St. Olaf Tycho alumni. So it's really great to see some familiar faces in the audience here today. Um, we're going to get started with a couple of St. Olaf Tycho classics, and then they'll play some of their songs, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. So. Uh, with no further ado, the first song you'll hear today is Biscuits and Danger. The next song we have for you tonight is another one of our most iconic St. Olaf Tycho originals, in my opinion. This one's called Ryu. It's the story of the dragon attacking the village. It takes you through three different movements. The slow one of the villagers just having a chill time, you know, doing villager things. 
The second movement is the fast, and it's when the dragon attacks, and everything's really chaotic and scary. And then in the third movement, the dragon has left, the ashes are settling, and we're adjusting to our new normal, I suppose. So, in a couple seconds here, we will play Ryu. This next song, sorry, 
um, is not a St. Olaf Tycho original, but its origins are a little mysterious, at least to us. We have traditionally called it Oichi. Recent research has pointed to the fact that it may be called Oiuchi. Um, it's a traditional Taiko song, but we play a very different version of it than anything else we can find online. So this just kind of speaks to the aspect of Taiko where uh, things are passed down from generation to generation orally and songs can change um, from generation to generation. So we don't know exactly where the song came from, but it's reminiscent of a lot of other Taiko songs, so it makes us feel very connected to Taiko culture as a whole. So here's Oichi, or possibly Oyuchi. I hope you enjoy. Some of my personal favorite songs in the St. Olaf Tycho canon um, is a set of four very ambitious songs that we call the Bender Suite. They were all written somewhere around 2013, although we don't know exactly when, um, and they were all written about the four elements, water, earth, fire, and air, in that order. Um, they're all pretty challenging to play, they're all pretty engaging, I think, and we are going to play all four of them for you here in order today. This is, in my opinion, the most St. Olaf Tycho, the most, <laughs> of the St. Olaf Tycho songs. They're classics. So here's Waterbender, Earthbender, Firebender, and then Airbender.
I really hope you enjoyed hearing the Bender Suite all the way through. Can we give one more round of applause to all the performers for that whole shebang? We have one more song for our portion of the show here tonight. It's called uh, Bakahatsu. Adam! Oh, yeah, poor, poor, sweet, sweet Adam. It's not Bakahatsu. That means idiot in Japanese. It's actually called Bakuhatsu, meaning explosion or to explode, depending on who you're asking. Sorry, Adam. Wow. Well, in the history of St. Olaf Tycho, that has never happened. Um, Anyway, <laughs> embarrassment aside, thank you, Ollie. Once we're, our drums are set up here, we will play Baku Hatsu. Thank you.
Thank you so much, everyone. The show is not over yet. We are very pleased and excited to welcome Hadi Sandaiko to the stage. Now? Yes, excellent, cool. Um, hi, my name is Marit Hansen. Um, I am with Hadi Sandaiko. Um, St. Olaf was kind enough to uh, invite us to come play tonight uh, for in large part because four of our members are former St. Olaf Tycho members um, uh, Who are currently setting up, but I'll wait till they're more set up um, so Scott Grant Kristen Grant myself and then Max Sheck are all former St. Olaf Tycho members uh, the three of us were members a long time ago and Max not quite as long ago uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, we're going to be playing a couple of pieces for you. Our first piece, um, uh, hi, <laughs> just saw someone, oh, some people, more people I know, that's awesome, uh, <laughs> I'm excited. Um, our first piece that we're going to be playing is Harisin's version of Matsuri. Matsuri means festival. Many taiko groups have their own versions of Matsuri. Uh, you may recognize it from the very familiar don 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 karakaka uh, so we will be doing that to start us off please enjoy
Yeah, thanks. Hi, um, so I'm Scott. I'm, again, uh, like Mara introduced before, um, member of Harrison Tycho, former member of St. Olaf Tycho from, like she said, way longer than I would care to admit. Um, it's really cool, and we're really glad that you guys invited us to play. Um, one of the coolest parts, I think, probably for um, all of us alumni is seeing these songs that St. Olaf Tycho still plays to this day that we learned a long, long time ago and see how they continue to grow and continue to play. You guys are awesome. Um, the next song that we're going to be playing um, also has a bit of history, too. Um, this is a song called Hazumi. Um, it is a song written by um, Kogan Taiko. Kogan is the oldest Taiko group in the uh, Minnesota. They were formed, I think, in the 1980s. Um, there's a member here, at least, in the front. Ooh, hi. Um, uh, and when, when they went into um, uh, a bit of hiatus, um, they have allowed us to um, play this song to allow us allow it to keep being here. Um, they're still setting up, so I will talk a little longer. Um, let's see. Apparently the song means bouncing, I think. And so if we're not bouncing, we're doing it wrong. Cool. But, all right. Well, thanks, everybody. We'll play the song.
my breath. Uh, I'm now going to stall until I catch my breath because I have to play Pui again on the next one. Um, our next piece that we'll be playing is called Orbit. It is a piece that was written uh, by Hadi Sendaiko, simply arranging composed by Christopher Steffen with input from Vanessa Steffen and myself. Um, it is based on a song called Hokai Minyocho, which was written by uh, Michio Miyagi, which in turn was based on two Japanese folk pieces. This is a piece that we wrote in honor of Bob Sauer, who um, unfortunately passed away recently. He was an integral figure to the Midwest and especially Minnesota taiko uh, community, and his life kind of revolved around taiko, ergo the name. Um, so please enjoy Orbit. Okay, hi. Um, I'm Wendy, and the next song we're going to play for you is called Yui. It's by Ryo Sh Shimamoto, and apparently some of you like it. Marit, <laughs> Marit said they, there are a few of you who really like the song, but anyway, it's one of our favorites, too. And um, I was at a, co a conference in Washington, D.C. I think it was in 20, 2018, and that's where I learned the song from Rio, and he um, had been traveling in South and Latin America, and he picked up some tunes, and he thought he's, he was already a taiko player, and he, so he put in these Latin rhythms um, to a taiko song. And um, he's the most awesome guy, if you guys, he does online lessons now too, and he's the most awesome musician, and very, so talented. And anyway, so this is Yui, it's from him, and then, there's an added uh, intro and a few little things that each group kind of does for their own. Um, so I hope you enjoy Yui.
You, if you are in Hadi Daiko and you are a St. Olaf Taiko graduate, can you please stay on the stage? Return to the stage in, sh in a couple of seconds here. It's okay. So a little fun piece of Tycho history is that one of our favorite songs is called Joba, written by the St. Olaf Tycho legend Stephen Braun. And we recently learned that it was written during the time of Marat, Scott, and Kristen, when they were in St. Olaf Tycho. But, and Scott had a hand in writing it. He helped with the dance. But yeah, the choreography. And, but the other, the twist of fate in this story is that they never got to play Joba because of how things worked out. So we're gonna play Joba. <laughs> they learned it in two practices. <laughs> All right, so give us a couple of seconds and then we'll play Joba with Hari and Daiko. Woo!
We have one more song for you tonight, and I bet you'll never guess what it is. If you have been in St. Olaf Taiko for any length of time, or in many Taiko groups around the world, you have played Raku, which means fun. It is a Taiko classic, but the St. Olaf Taiko version is also largely unchanged throughout our 18-year history as a club. It's a really great song, and I'm stalling so that we can get the drums in position. Um, we're gonna play this with the addition of the Hardison graduates as well, which we're very excited about. Yay. With no further ado, here is Raku.
Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is our show. Thank you so much for coming out. We do have one more little surprise for you, which is that if you are in the audience and you were a member of St. Olaf Tycho, you are welcome to come on stage right now. We have allotted out the pause for the next hour or so just for a nice old jam session with all of you with the St. Olaf Tycho songs that you know and love. There's no structure, nothing. You're all, everyone is free to go, whatever. We're just gonna hang out and jam with all of you. So thanks for coming out. Um, what do we wanna play? <laughs>